Hello everyone, Sir Joshua here. Um, we need um, to transfer in an asynchronous manner after this video. But again, if you have questions, feel free to comment your uh, questions on our conversation box. Okay? So for today's class, we will be discussing about your information technology system or your IT systems that are applicable in the nursing practice. Okay? So while nurses agree that new healthcare technology and innovative medical devices can help them, they also agree that technology shouldn't replace the day-to-day -day human interactions. So la in the class, nga ang nurse gya mismo ang physically present to do the job for the nurses. Okay? Working directly with the patients rather is a huge element of healthcare and nurses provide a crucial element of interaction that allows patients to feel at ease so in the nursing profession class the medical technologies or these devices help us in the following ways number one it helps the nurses with the routine processes like for example monitoring your patient or checking the vital signs and so on and so forth the next um role of your technologies class in nursing is that it decreases your human mistakes and errors that can come from too few nurses who are working long hours with too many patients especially if nurses are working overtime no they really need the help of those machines or devices to provide your effective and efficient nursing care okay so without further ado, let's try to check these technologies or devices that helps with our nursing care. First class is your barcode. Okay, your barcode assisted medication administration or simply your barcoding. Okay, so this one class is also called as your BCMA. So with the help of your barcoding class, it verifies the drug that is at being administered to the right patient at the right dose and at the right route and at the right time remember your rights in giving your medication class in your health ethics dapat tandaan ta nga maghatag kita medication dapat right drug right patient right dose right route and your right time okay so with the help of your barcoding at least we know that we are giving the correct medication para sa ato nga, nga patient Okay, so this barcoding class contains your two unique patient identifiers. So usually your patient identifiers is the patient's full name and your patient's date of birth or either patient's um, patient number na ginatawag or admission numbers ang atong niya patient. So it varies from institution to institution as well. So what are the advantages of this one? Number one, it provides the nurse your up-to-date drug reference information. Okay? Makabalo si nurse kung ang ining medication up-to-date pa or dapat itake pa ni sang ato niya patients. Also, with the help of your barcoding class, you can customize your comments or alerts. Let's just say, for example, you have specific medications na good for three days lang. So, after the three days, it will give you comments that this medication is done na or tapos mo na siya hatag for this patient. Okay? Also, class, it helps with the monitoring for pharmacy and nurses' response to predetermined rules or standards. Okay? So, it, kumbaga, it follows the rules specifically for pharmacists and for nurses in administering the drug. Okay? Also, class, it helps with the reconciliation of pending stat orders. Like for example, may mga bulong ka na stat, kaisa lang siya itake sang ato niya patient. So it helps you reconcile or return those medications na hindi na pag itake sang ato niya patient. Also, it helps with the capturing of data for analysis and your monitoring. Also, it very verifies your blood transfusion and lab specimens collection identification let's just say for example this patient is for cbc for urinalysis so with the help of the barcoding pag check mo sang barcode sang patient ta, you can all see there the doctor's order specific for that patient and lastly class it increases your accountability and capture of charges 
Okay? Ara balang hindi madamuan ang gasto ang pasyente, kita nan ara dira, may increased accountability. Masaligan siya. Okay? Now, let's have the possible drawbacks or your dis possible disadvantages of this one. Since it is barcoding, computerized, so it may lead into wrong dosage form. Basi karon sa barcoding, may mga sala-sala nga info nga nabutang dito, mahatag man sang nurse. So, dapat yung na-double check ang aton niya orders, ang ato niya mga nalog sa aton computers with the help of your barcoding. Also, they, there might be omissions. For example, may mga errors sa barcode nga provided. It can omit any orders from there. Also, it there can be extra doses. Okay? Or either you can give the wrong drug or wrong dose or an authorized drug because of errors there on your barcode. And also, it can give you charting errors as well. Okay? So, these are the possible drawbacks or errors or let's just say the disadvantages in the use of your barcoding. Okay? Next, <coughs> let's have your automated dispensing cabinets. Um, this cabinets class, as you can see there in the picture, are controlled by the computer. So, you can only dispense specific medications or specific um, equipments, no, especially in times of emergency. Okay, so this one class here is your computerized point of use medication management system. Okay, you provide medications. All you have to do is to log in, no, type in the patient's information, and it will dispense only those medications that is needed by our patient. And also, class, with the help of this one, it allows the nurse to obtain patient-specific medications from open after a drug is chosen from a pick list. Okay, so as you can see, this is more patient-specific. Kung ano lang ang nalag sa patient for the orders, ang mula na i-dispense kwa on dira sa cabinet. Okay? Now, why is it that this one is widely accepted na nga ginagamit na niya sa mga hospitals usually number one it improves your pharmacy productivity okay most of our pharmacists not only dispense medication but they also need to let's just say um prepare okay preparation of some of the medications so to uh, to increase their productivity we also need the help of your dispensing cabinets para hapos na lang kay pharmacists nga mag-deliver per department or per wards. Okay? Next, it, it enhances enhances your nursing productivity. Okay? Hindi na kinala ni nurse manaog to sa first floor mga kwa bulong sa pasyente, dira na lang siya sa may dispensing machine or your dispensing cabinets. It also improves your charge capture. Okay? So, anything that you have to take dira sa iyong mga medication or dispensing cabinets, nagkakacharge na siya or charge capture. Next is automated inventory control. So once nagkuha ka na isa kabulong, automatic gina may nasan dira. Yeah. Amo na nga stock na kuha dira. Okay, na record na sa amo na nga pasyente, ginhatag ni nurse. Okay? We also have your improved security of controlled substance, of course, especially mga medications nga let's just say um budlay makakuha reseta for that one. Okay? It improves Okay, or provides the security for those controlled substances. Because again, it is patient-specific. Next is we have your timelier drug availability. In times of need, ara lang ginadayitanan niya stocks usually. Okay, because may ara sila na da record kung pila na da ang nagamit, i-replace sa naman na da siya. Okay, and lastly, it enhances your patient quality and safety. However, with the... With the use of your automated dispensing cabinets class, it can also have your disadvantages or your possible nga mga drawbacks. Like for example, lack of pharmacy screening of medication order prior to your administration. Okay? Um, let's just say for example, nakulangan na na bulong, kahit na nagkalaurot na. Okay? Hindi na masyado ma-screen ang mga bulong na ginapambutang da. For example, mga expiry dates, hindi mo na masyado ma-check, kaya ginapang dispense na na automatically. We also have your choosing of the wrong medication from an alphabet pick list. Okay, tungod most of the uh, uh, medications there are alphabetical in nature, basi there are chances nga 
wrong medication ang ma-provide. Also, there can be problems in placing or storing and returning of your high alert medications. Especially, especially be mga psychiatric medications or anything that affects um, your major organs ng mga medication, no? So, there can be problems in storing that one or returning that one. Also, problems with look-alike and same packaging drugs next to each other. Okay? Especially mga medications, nung nga dugi inanggid lang ang alan. Okay? There can be errors because of similarities or look-alikes. <coughs> so, that is for our automated dispensing cabinets class. Now, let's have the next one. We have here, class, your smart infusion pump or your IV pump sa mga hospitals. So, smart infusion pump or your delivery system or pump delivery systems. So, this is one is used to, or to deliver your parenteral medications through IV or intravenous or your epidural lines. So, it is usually found in variety of clinical settings. And it's glad to know that we have here in that, we have that one there in Riverside Hospital. So, with the use of this one, there can be programmed with patient and drug parameters. Let's, let's just say, for example, administration of your IV drugs. No? So, dira pa lang is ma-program mo na siya, especially for the parameters itself. Also, class, it causes of error. The causes of errors in using the general traditional pumps are lessened. Okay? Lain gid nga may pump nga automatic pag encode mo for example 20 drops per minute 20 drops per minute din ang inchat ko nga ginahatag dira so usually kung kita sa mga public hospitals not to um degrade the public hospitals but some some of them are used with the traditional use of IV administration ara ba lang pag butang pag insert sa patient i-regulate lang and then pabayan Sometimes na mga pasyente, mga hulagan, paglantaw pa lang pila ka minuto, na ubus na ang tubig or dextrose. Okay? Now, with this, there can be an intentional free flow of the solution. Okay? Ano muna siya, um, kung mapabayan, taman kong kisabi ang ato niya mga machines, there can be an intentional free flow of your solutions. There can be also errors in the programming. So, even though we are using infusion pumps, we really have to double check the encoded ng mga information or flow rates ng gina, gina adjust natun dito. And then there can be incorrect, inappropriate, or miscalculations, especially with the provision of your IVTT drugs, no? IV drugs ng ginatawag. So, dapat double-check Japan even though we are using this smart infusion pump. Okay? Also, class, we have your CPOE. I think this was mentioned way back our last or the previous lesson, no? So, your CPOE class or your computerized physician order entry is used for direct entry of one or more types of medical orders by a prescriber into a system. Specifically, Doctor's order, dira na lang gina-encode baton sa program or sa hospital management systems ang aton nga um, institution. Also, it allows the access of records and enter your doctor's orders. Also, it includes passive and active feedback uh, systems. Okay? Pwede ka daya ka-reply-reply or pwede ka na daya ka-provide feedback. For example, um, you provide information sa doctor that, that, that this specific medication you can order you was already given, pwede gina that mabutang. For the advantage of this one class, of course, it improves the quality, your patient outcomes, and the safety. It's because, bis kan layo si doctor, pwede na mahatag mo provide through the doctor's order na computerized na. It also reduces your variation in care to improve your disease management. And lastly, it improves your drug prescribing and administration. Okay? Especially with the teleconsulta, teleconsult, maghatag sila, doctor's order. It can be used in this manner, your CPOE. Okay? Now, let's proceed with the next. Let's have your critical care applications. From the word critical care, of course, sa mga ICU, intensive care sa ating mga patients, no? Or emergency usage. 
let's have the, the IT capabilities in your applications in critical care settings. Number one, it processes, it stores, and it integrates your physiologic and diagnostic information from various sources. Of course, you can have all the access of information related to the patient, the patient diagnosis, the history, and everything that encompasses your patient. Also, it provides present, uh, present deviations from your preset ranges by an alarm or alert. Okay, for example, there are alterations in the vital signs. The use of these IT applications for the critical set, care settings, no? mag alarm lang na siya. Okay, gives um, information to your healthcare providers nga patient is in danger. For example, okay. Next, we have your accept and store patient care documentation in a lifetime clinical repository. So, all of the data provided, no? All your interventions, all the managements. With the help of your IT, ka save na da. And also, it, it has the trend data in a graphical presentation. So, makita mo dang, for example, mga results, no? Like, for example, your ECG through the waves. Makita mo da niya results or it is visible with the help of your IT apps or your capabilities. Aside from that, of course, it provides your clinical decision support to alerts, alarms, and protocols. Um, also, it also provides class access to your vital patient information. It comparatively evaluates your patient outcomes. No? So, may ara na ta baga nursing care plan. Mahimo because of those um, results found on your apps or your applications or your technologies. And lastly, it will present clinical data based on your concept-oriented views. Okay, mas hapos na makitaan ang clinical data again. So, sa atin sa hospital in the critical, critical care um, setup, we have this class, your so-called data connectivity infrastructure or your DCI. So the term medical information bus in this one is used to classify the backbone of your information exchange. Okay, so magamba kita medical information bus or your data connectivity infrastructure. It used to send the workload generated by the patient care devices. Kumbaga through the signal, no? Ang iya nga results ma provide or makuha naton or ma generate naton with the help of your monitors, for example, or with the help of your ventilators or your IV pumps, no? In the modern critical care setting. So, as you can see, the data from your clinician to patient from the provision of this management, such as, for example, your monitor for ECG. Hapos mo siya ma-obtain with the use of your technology through your data connectivity infrastructure. Okay? Now, let's have the different physiologic monitoring systems. So, in the 1960s, the systems were developed by NASA to oversee the vital signs of the astronauts. Like, for example, the monitoring of your vital signs over here, it is first used or overseen for astronauts in 60s. In 70s, these systems were found in hospital setting, replacing your manual methods of taking your vital signs. So, sa 70s pa lang siya yung nagamit sa hospital. Sa 60s, una pa ang astronauts. Okay? Also, in the 1980s, the technology became cheaper, smaller, and significantly more powerful. Sa una daw TV na siya, subong biskang gamay na lang na siya ng gadget, pwede mo siya makita ng results. The cheaper siya, naga smaller siya, and it's more powerful because it contains more data. And in the 90s, there is already the development of uh, that was focused on integration of monitoring data into your information systems. Mas hapos na mag save save, okay? Especially with the information. So, in your physiologic monitoring systems, from the word physiologic sa mga body systems, no? monitoring systems, we have your basic components. First is we have your sensor. Kabalo naman ka muna kung anong sensor. Okay?
your sensor class is coupled to the patient that transforms the physiologic signal into an electrical signal that can be directed by the monitor. Okay, again, from the physiological signal, body signals, to your electrical signals. Like for example, your ECG electrode, like this one. Okay, you also have your pressure transducers. Next class are your signal conditioners. We have your files, your computer processor. We also have your evaluation or controlling components. This one here, class, in your, this picture, you can see your signal conditioner. Para sa diin sa si signal conditioner, it amplifies or filters the display device. Ko ano lang na makitaan mo sa screen. Okay? Kina-filter niya. It converts one type of electronic signal into another type of your signal. Like for example, your amplifiers, no? your paper recorder, mag-record or mag-print sa mga results ng ECG na to, and we use your signal conditioner. Only datas that can be filtered. Next class is we have your file. Ara siya si file. So your file ranks and orders your information. Gina, pasunod niya. Okay, in order ang ato niya information dira. So we have here your alarm signals and your storage file like this one for your ECGs and your monitoring of the vital signs. Also, for your uh, physiologic monitoring systems, we also have class your computer processors. Your computer processors, of course, analyzes the data and directs your reports. Okay, like for example, your paper reports, the storage of your file, the summary report, ara na datanan sa imong processor. And we also have class your evaluation or controlling component. So this one class or this part of your physiologic monitoring systems regulates the equipment or alerts the nurse. Okay? So usually it notice, manotis natin on the display screen is the information from the patients and if in case that the vital signs goes low, okay, naganubo siya or nagataas, there is an alarm signal that will um, inform the nurse now, there is something wrong with the vital signs of our patient. Okay? Now, ding, ding, ding. let's have your hemodynamic monitors. Okay? So, this one, magamakita, hemodynamic blood. No? It focuses on your hemodynamic studies. So, allow, so, this one class allow for the calculation of your hemodynamic indices. Um, when we talk about your hemodynamics or your hemodynamic indices, in it, it includes your intravascular volume. Okay? The volume nga ara sa imo nga. Okay? Mga, mga blood vessels. Your inotropy and your chronotropy. Maghambal ta inotropy and your chronotropy, something that changes the heart rate. And also, we have your vasoactivity. Okay? Viso activity, ang activity sa ating nyo, blood vessels. Ano makita ang tadira? Okay. Um, the expert collection and analysis of your qualitative data and your quantitative data of cardiopulmonary functions, the function of your heart. And also, class, it includes your clinical observation, the use of your electrical photometrics, <coughs> excuse me, your pressure transducing equipment and other non-invasive devices as well as the application of several intravascular catheters mga catheters na di ba lang sa atun sa mga patient na ginatakod through the blood vessels no so common values of this hemodynamic monitors would include your afterload okay your cardiac output mga makita cardiac output ang amount or volume nga ginapagwa sa atun nga heart if it pumps cardiac output next is we have your central venous pressure no the pressure within our um blood vessels we also have your mean arterial pressure for the arteries we have your preload your pulmonary artery pressure and your stroke volume magamba kita preload pag release ang aton heart before it pumps ginapasudlan niya blood that is your preload 
your output will be your expressed number of our volume of blood. We also have your pulmonary artery pressure, the pressure within the lungs, of course, and your stroke volumes. Now, para sa diinini nga mga hemodynamic nga mga monitors, number one, it measures again your hemodynamic parameters, mga blood volume. Yeah. It also closely examines your cardiovascular problems, okay? especially with problems with, like for example, your congestive heart failure. Makitaan ta ang ilang mga problems, especially with the amount of blood yung ginapump in and pump out niya. Also, it evaluates your cardiac pumps and your volume status. Also, it recognizes the patterns and extract features. Okay? Your heart rate. Okay? The ECG, uh, your, your waves. Okay? Your PQRS ng mga waves. You will discuss more of that in your cardio when you reach your medical surgical nursing. It also assesses your vascular system integrity. Okay? Basi karon do mabugto na dang iban mo nga mga blood vessels. Okay? So it assesses the vascular system. And lastly, it evaluates your patient's physiologic response to stimuli. Other than that class, it also continuously assesses your respiratory glasses. Remember in your anatomy and physiology, um, your heart works with your lungs and your lungs work, works with your heart. Okay, especially with the gas exchange, oxygenation. So, it also assesses the respiratory gases. Also, it evaluates your blood gases, your electrolytes, and estimates your cellular oxygenation. Magamakita cellular oxygenation, ang ato na balang a pulse oximeter. Okay, the percentage of um, how many, kumbaga, ano kada mo ang oxygen nga ara sa ato nga blood. Okay. Also, class, it continuously evaluates your glucose levels. Okay, with your with the help of your hemodynamic monitors, ma monitor tama ng ating yung glucose levels or evaluate your glucose levels, and automatically transmits the selected data to a computerized patient database. So as you can remember a while ago, no, with your DCI or your data connectivity infrastructure, anything that is connected with that specific technology will be transferred into a computer. Okay, that is why in your hemodynamic monitors, mas save gina siya, makit ang gina ang patient data. Nag-auto-save na po siya sa computer. <coughs> now, let's have class your non-invasive, mga wala gina pa sulod. Okay, non-invasive. Wala ginapasulod sa pasyente, wala gina performance ang procedure. Give. Like for example, your IV cutdowns. Wala na siya. Okay? Let's have your non-invasive hemodynamic monitors. Number one is we have your oscillometric techniques. So this one class is the standard method for automated blood pressure measurement. Automated. Ayan o. Next. Next is we have your pulse oximetry, like what I've mentioned a while ago to check the oxygenation in your blood. And we have your Dopplers, which also help with the measuring of your cardiac outputs, non-invasive, okay, like this one. If you can still remember in our RLEMCF sa OB, we use your Doppler to monitor the fetal heart rate, okay. We have a lot, uh, lots of um, Dopplers na ginagamit. May arak kita for OB, may arak kita for um, children that monitors the cardiac output like this one. Okay? And aside from your non-invasive, we also have your invasive. Ginapasulod. Okay? Sa atong nga pasyente. Sa lawas, ijas ang pasyente. <coughs> like for example, your pulmonary artery cat catheter. So usually, this one is connected through here, no? On our pulmonary artery. So, it is used to measure your pulmonary arteries and your pressures. We also have class, your thermistor. So, your thermistor class is the one that we used also in monitoring or your checking of the cardiac output of our patient. And lastly, we have also your fiber optic technologies that is used in measuring the mixed venous oxygen saturation. Okay? Especially, kung may mga buslot-buslot ang hearts ang ato niya pasyente, gamix dira ang blood 
So, with the help of their fiber optic technology, kina-check ya if ang ato niya dugo, nga mix mix dira, may ample amount pa sang oxygen para sa lawas ang pasyente or wala. Okay? Now, let's continue. Again, if you have questions, feel free to comment that on the chat box lang class, ha? And if the video is not working for you, please, um, you may leave the call and then you may go back again. Sometimes sa signal na siya. <coughs> now, let's have your CCIS or your Critical Care Information System. So, this one class is designed to collect, store, organize, retrieve, and manipulate all data for your patients that are critical. Okay, like this one. Tanan, dira nga nakaungot. Ano da ang mga patient data, dira nga makita natun sa amo ng patient with the help of these devices, magather tagin with the help of your CCIS. And the primary purpose of this one is to organize or the organization of your patient's current and historical data for use by all the care, by all care providers in the patient care. Okay? Meaning, may arak kita basihan sa aton pag-provide sa aton yung patient care through the present data dira your historical, ang mga daan niya nga records, yung ang subong niya nga records. It includes data and information class of your bedside devices. Na, like for example, yung mga cardiac monitors ni mo. No? Results from the ancillary department, your medications, your doctor's order, your assessments gathered from the clinical team, and your plan of care for that patient. So, tanan-tanan, nakastable, na, na plus star na dira, kumbaga, sa iyong mga CCIS. So, ano ni siya ang unod sa ato niya CCIS? So, usually, it contains your patient management. <coughs> sa patient management class, ang unod niya na dira is your admission, your transfer, and your discharge data from your department's IS or information system. Kung ang pasyente admitted, kung gin transfer na siya halin sa, sa ibang hospital or gin discharge na, na siya. It also contains your prognostic scoring systems to assess the severity of illness of your critical patients. Okay, like for example, your uh, neurovital signs. Okay. And also it helps with the healthcare organization system to schedule patient care activities. For example, ang pasyente mo, inog, um, inog pa x-ray, Buwas, automatically, makita mo na da, siya nga ang patient, no? Is for um, laboratory or for x-ray sa amun ang adlaw. Ginanotify niya kung baga in your CCIS. Aside from that, it also contains the treatments and your diagnostic testing. Next class is your vital signs monitoring, of course. Vital signs and your other physiologic data from your bedside instruments are automatically acquired from such, are incorporated into the database of your system. Also, it contains your interface and your graphical displays and contains the group of information for easy viewing and trending. And of course, in your vital signs monitoring, ma monitor naton and device ang aton nya datas that are interfaced to your flow sheet. Maghamba ka class flow sheet, okay? Tanan tanan na dalang data nakapasunod from patients, um, vital signs, your RR, your TPR, flow sheets, your vital signs, bala is an example of your flow sheet. Nakaplastar na dalang. We also have your diagnostic testing results. From the words, from the word itself, diagnostic testing results, okay, mga laboratory result, laboratory or radiologic results na da. So, usually, gina-display, gina-da iyang results, and clinicians can access the picture, gidya, of that information. Okay? Next, clinical documentation. So, this is your patient's assessment flow sheets. Okay, tanan yung mga assessment data or sheets ng aton yung nursing. <coughs> nursing care or for the patient care. Next is your flow sheets organized by body system. Si follow caudal approach. Diba? Dumduman nyo sa inyong health assessments. When you do your assessment sa patient, head to toe. Si follow caudal. Okay? 
it contains all of the informations there by a body systems. And then all disciplines can document patient assessments. Okay? Kung ano na nakita ni doctor, pwede yan ma-record. Kung ano nakita anda ni radiologist, ni medtech, i-encode yun na sa assessment findings. It is collaborative in nature. And alerts, it alerts also your automatically generated um, um, records for your patient at risk for fall, no? your pressures, pressure ulcers, and other factors um, um, indicated for the patients. Let's, for example, ang aton patient is um, mentally incapacitated at risk siya for any danger. Gina-notify yan na dira sa mga clinical documentation. And aside from that, it also contains your calculations for physiologic indices. No? Like for example, ano mga normal body weight niya dapat sa amun ng edad, para na nada siya. And it also contains your patient equity, your classification, productivity measures, and other indicators as well. Basig katulog na kamo daang. Okay. <coughs> Next is your decision support. Magambal kita class decision support. It provides your alerts and reminders to guide care in accordance to your evidence-based guidelines. Okay? May mga guidelines, dira nga nagatuhaw. Kung ano yung muunta sa pasyente, takong naamuni siya, and so on and so forth. So, the point of care access to the knowledge bases that contain information on your evidence-based guidelines of care, your drug information, your procedures, and your policies that can guide to decision-making. For example, nag-critical si pasyente. Kung nag-critical si pasyente, ano himo ni nurse? Nakalista na datanan. Again, decision support. It helps you with the decision making. Next, we have your medication management. Of course, with the use of your barcoding, like what I've mentioned earlier, no? in administrating your medication through electronic um, technology. Um, your medication administration flow sheets are also there. Mga medication record mo ara na that. Anami pagi di class is is that it contains your calculations for your IV drugs, <coughs> your IV flow rates, no for example, and the total intake and output schedules ara na dapatan on your uh, medication management. Next is your interdisciplinary plans of care. Or your care plan nga interdisciplinary. Tanan-tanan. May pang PT, may pang doctor, may pang medtech. Okay, ara na datanan. So again, your interdisciplinary POC or your plan of care supports your multidisciplinary documentation. So tanan nga charting, hindi lang sang doctor, pati nurse, pharmacist, ara na da. So it contains your special flow sheets. Okay? That incorporates your treatments and your interventions and contains your workflow management solutions that help arrange the numerous simultaneous process of your patient. <coughs> and lastly is your CPOE or your provider order entry. So with the help of your POE or your CPOE, there can be electronic entries and communication of your patient orders. Tanan again, tanan niya doctor's order computerized na lang. Ara na da, da, tanan. Isa lang ka type ni doctor kay ipasa si mo na send na da yun. Order set this place to guide clinicians to adhere to evidence-based medical practice. Meaning, ang tanan niya doctor's order, ginapakita, ginadaya ya. Tanan niya data, along with the signature of the doctor and all. And there is also integration of your provider order entry with interdisciplinary cares. Naka-isa-isa plus star. Again, pang PT, PT care, nursing care, um, radiologic care, and pharmacy care, or pharmacological care for anong patient. Ara, ano na So, those are your CCIS or the critical care information system, which is usually present sa ICUs or intensive care units. Okay? Ding, ding, ding. <coughs> now, we're done with the ICU. How about sa sentro? Sa mga community settings. We also have that one class. Okay? We have your community health applications. 
First is your community health nursing. Diba sa ato niya, CHN? If you can still remember, no? We are focusing on the nursing practice and the public health practice that is applied to promote and preserve the health of populations. So, ang ato niya, computer applications or health or IT applications will focus on the population as a whole. Okay? <clears throat> So, in your CHN class, ang aton dira nga standards or ginatutukan is we incorporate your health promotion, we have your health, health maintenance, we have your health education, okay, which is one of your subjects, no? Health management coordination and continuity of care. Okay? So, amo na siya ang standards nga ginasunod natin sa community health nursing. Again, we incorporate health promotion, health maintenance, health education, health management coordination, and continuity of care. So there is class a unique blend of nursing and public health practice that is woven into the human service that if properly developed and applied, it has a tremendous impact on the humans, uh, human well-being. So, according to DOH, no, mas lain gidya if ang ato niya nursing and public health practices ko no, are woven into human service. There is connection. Okay? So, the goal of your CHN, di ba, is to raise the level of health sa ato niya mga citizens or citizenry. Okay? That is why we also need ITs in the, uh, IT with our nursing care in the community. Now, again, para sa diin ng mga computer apps sa community health nursing, it will focus on, number one, sa aton population as a whole. Next is we have your continuity of care needs. Okay? And lastly, we have your billing of services. So, hindi lang na siya focus kids sa aton yung mga hospital needs but also with the billing needs. <clears throat> now, let's have your computer system development. So, CHN or Community Health Nursing Agencies have used computers in the late 60s when computers were introduced into the healthcare industry. So, the changing healthcare trends have been the impetus for increasingly sophisticated management information systems. And also, plus, there is the advancements that led to your four domains of your concentration. Okay? So, in your computer development, it led to your domains of your concentration. Number one, we have your public health, which focuses on the population interventions and your outcomes. Next is your home health. Ang home health is usually practiced or mas ano siya, kumbaga, mas ginapractice siya sa uh, other countries ang aton home health. Ara, walang nurse, yakad to, nagigin sa mga balay-balay sa communities. So, skilled nursing care and the outcomes. We also have your special population community practices, which contains your specific diagnostic care or your treatments and outcomes for the special community. And lastly, we have your outpatient care, which, is, which focuses on the intermittent, episodic, or your preventive care and outcomes. Okay. Tandaan ta class that in the public health, it should be coordinated effort at the different levels whose mission is to fulfill the society's interest in assuring conditions in which people can be healthy, according to your IOM. So, in your public health, dapat may mga focus kita ng mga public health professionals. Number one is we have to prevent, identify, and investigate and eliminate your community health problems. Diba sa CHN natin, may ara kita community nursing diagnosis. Gina-identify natin ang community health problems. So as nurses, part of our public health professional nga role is to focus on the preventive, okay, and identification, elimination of these problems. Number two class, we have to assure that the community has all the access to health care. Okay. Ang budlay sa ato nga population sa mga communities naton, nabudlayan sila kuno mag-access sa healthcare. 
even though nga hapos na siya dapat kay ara ang presence ng ato niya city health center uh, health centers or your community or city health nga mga um, offices next is that we have to educate and empower individuals to adapt to healthier behaviors if you will have your duties in the near future in your communities isa sa mga role nyo gid is to health educate okay you educate the community with the practices no na maka benefit sa ila especially with their health okay now let's have the classification system sa aton nga community we have here class your CCCS or your clinical care classification system which is also known before as your home health care classification so as you can see on this diagram it contains your HHCC or your CCCS this one class is a standardized language or vocabulary designed to document, to code, and classify your computer processing. Okay, or you can classify your computers rather. So it helps with the processing of your patient care in any clinical care settings by any healthcare provider. So it is used to electronically track and analyze your patient care over time across the settings, your population groups, and your geographic locations. So meaning tanan nga healthcare um focus no ma, ma ano na siya ma contain na siya within your classification system for the community ara na data nga data mapa individual man na or mapa population groups or mapa family man na siya okay So in your CCCS it consists of your two interrelated taxonomies Okay, may mga terms kita dira nga ginatawag. Ang mga terms nga ina can be used in your nursing diagnosis. Okay, mag-diagnose kita sa families which in which may unod na siya kung nga 182 nursing diagnosis and or patient problems which uses your three modifiers. Okay, what are your modifiers? Okay, at risk for, possible risk for, mga muna siya. And lastly, we have your nursing interventions. Okay, sa aton niya CCCS, may mga nursing interventions na dapat na plus star. So it contains 100, 198 interventions and uses your four modifiers. <coughs> now, basi ka tulog na kamo class ha. Okay. Next is we have your community health systems. So this one class refers to your computerized IT system specifically developed and designed for the use in your community health agencies, local and your state health departments, and your community programs and services. Okay, for a while class, let me just drink my water okay. for a while. Okay, so your community health systems class support your health promotion and your disease prevention, yung mga programs. It also helps with the statistical information required by your health department. Like for example, bala sa monitoring sa aton COVID, your COVID gaya, is an example of a community health system. Okay, so kada local cities... No, lo localities rather may ara monitoring system nga ginapalabot sa local, sa regional, provincial and pa to, to sa national systems nato. Okay? Some of the typically used systems. Number 1, we have your categor categorical program systems. So this one class is designed to support your data processing and tracking specific programs such as your cancer detection mother and child immunization, and your family planning. And it also collects your longitudinal data for specific disease condition. So number one, we have your categorical program. From the word categorical, nakakategorize na siya into your cancer detection, mother immunization, and family planning. Number two class, we have your screening programs ng mga systems. So this one from the word itself, screening no it detects your afflicted uh, individuals with specific disease conditions and also 
it contains your health information that is mandated by your different levels. Okay? Like for example, we have here the data processing and your tracking of cancer detection and mother and child immunization in your family planning. So it is somewhat um, similar with your categorical program systems. Okay? They are almost the same. However, your screening programs um, focuses on specific diseases or um, of predisposing health conditions. So let me just add it here, okay, for a while class. Huh? So it is used to detect um, your individuals afflicted with a specific disease. Yeah. Yan. It is used to detect individuals afflicted with a specific disease. Let me just move this picture at the back. I apologize for this one. Ayan, para makita niyo ang mga print, ang written, ang mga information. Next is we have your registration systems. From the word itself, registration to register a patient. So it is designed to identify patients' eligibility for CHN services and clinics and can be accessed for local district units prior to providing of your services. Magparegister ka, for example, for vaccination. No, may mga websites, there are systems. And lastly, we have also your, or aside from that, rather, we have your management information system or your MIS that is focusing on the management of your statistical and operational needs of the agency. So, kumbaga, this is more on the managerial functions in the community. Next is your statistical reporting, especially with the monitoring of your COVID, no? Pwede na siya natin magamit ng system. So, it develops your uh, a develops a developed rather to collect and process your statistical information for health departments next is we have your special purpose system so this one is developed to collect statistical data for administering a specific program mas specific lang siya for example um for malaria monitoring, dapat for malaria lang na siya nga monitoring system. It is, has a special purpose on a specific lang na program, regardless of what type of agency it is. And then we also have class your public health information network or your PHIN that enables the consistent exchange of response, health and disease tracking data between public health partners. Magka-connect-connect siya within localities. There is information network okay so some these are the systems that are commonly used in your community okay now ding, ding, ding. let's have class the modern systems that is used Jidia, at the present time okay so most of this are found in Riverside Hospital. Okay? Like, kaya isa-isahin natin siya. So, this was mentioned a while ago. We have your automated IV pumps. So, it is used to control the dosage and grip drips given to your patient. So, software and medical tech allows nurses to change the drip amounts and medication dose. So, pindot-pindot mo lang daw. 0, 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, for example, 56 drops per minute. I-type mo na na da, then enter. Butang mo na da ang tubing sa ngato niya, IV, ang tube. It will regulate your IV there. So, additionally, class, there are self-pumps that allow patients to increase a controlled amount of pain. Especially sa mga automated IV pumps that, for example, let's just say, ang patient na ton, may ara siya pain. No, pain medication via IV pwede na siya nga may butang ta siya sa controlled amounts for medication para sila na lang mismo sa mga self pump ng ginatawag okay? next class aside from your automated nga IV pumps present sa aton hospital we also have your portable monitors ok 
Okay. This was mentioned also a while ago. So equipments allows nurses to check on patients even they are moving or busy helping someone else. So we have portable devices, your monitor for vital signs like this one, your ECG, um, that checks your vital signs, your oxygen saturation, no? So while transmitting your information back to the central monitor, nga ma-record to siya kagmamonitors ng ato niya doctors. Also, we have your smart bed technology. Ayan. So your smart bed um, technology class can help your nurses track movement, weight, and even vitals of our patient. Okay? So grabe nga hiligdaan, no? Mamonitor pati vitals. Smart beds uh, play a major role in keeping your patient safe and comfortable during your long hospital stay. Okay? Nami siya nga bed, pero mahal. Okay? So with the number of falls and patient injuries inside hospitals, your smart beds are very important for your patient's safety. So smart bed technology gives nurses a constant in-room monitor that provides them with regular updates and communications on patients' activities. It can also help them class in identifying patterns which can lead to your new diagnosis and different understanding of our patient condition. That is why nurses also spend less time coming in and adjusting supplies and medical equipments for comfort and safety class because they can help control with their smart bed. Okay. Ma-remote-remote lang sa pasyente, yung magagyugi, wala na lang iyakat. Smart beds. Next. Wearable devices like that. O, oh, diba? Um, sa Apple, no? Ang ato ng mga Apple Watch, there are already monitoring, no? Nga mga, diva, nga mga apps, dira. Like, for example, checking your heart rate, no? Or even your sleep. Ayan. So, sa Apple, may arain na. Even Android yung mga smartwatches, maka-monitor na yung class ang ato niya vitals, no? So, with increased accessibility to iPhones, nurses also benefit from these applications. Or even your smartphones, Androids, no? You can use that one. Electronic health record, especially in the US, they are using this one. So, it was... Um, it is, no, kumbaga, replaces the old um, paper-based na mga documentations. Your EHR allows your nurses uh, or your nursing experts to document care provided to patients and retrieve information that can help prioritize your care. Next, ding, ding, ding. we also have your centralized command centers. So, it improved the patient experiences and better ways for nurses and doctors to manage supplies, clinical technology, and your capacity. So, this is done through software applications. Mga apps na kumbaga sa imo mga mga devices. Okay? So, may mga centralized command centers. Like, for example, Microsoft Teams. Sa atong sa eskwila, na muna siyang centralized tanga command center. Tanan, tanga klase, ara, dira. So, same also with the hospital. May command centers man sila, dira. Or apps. And your telehealth and uh, telehealth and your apps, uh, telehealth apps rather, mga bulul-bulul na sisa. <laughs> telehealth apps. So your telehealth is a valuable newer element in the healthcare wherein your hospitals and clinics allow patients to virtually video chat with a doctor, your teleconsulta, which is practiced na most on the hospitals here in Bacolod. The only thing I know is sa provincial, ay provincial, sa regional rather, sa ato, na ba lang Corazon, Corazon Loxin niya hospital. Ding, ding, ding. In Riverside, we also have that one, your teleconsulta. Okay? You don't need to go out of your houses. Dira, bis kan virtual na lang a consultation. Pwede. Okay? Ding, ding, ding. So, this helps patients with quick diagnosis without leaving their comfort zones. Ayan. They can find out if they need to come in for further testing or diagnosis. Kung mga yung pagin sila prescription sa bulong, no? And they can get medical advices. Hapus na lang it sa ila. Kaya naga video call na lang sila. Okay? So, these are just some of the modern systems that we are using in the 
um, healthcare setting with the use of your IT systems. Okay? Now, before I end, remember class that as the healthcare industry continues to change with the support of our new technology, nurses can change right along with it and elevate patient care in the process. Okay? So I think that's it for lesson three. Thank you very much for listening again. So let me get back to you on our live classes for some of the reminders and activities. Okay? So let's go back on our live class. Bye!